Good day folks. Welcome back to video 5 of our pre-hatch 6-pack tying series. Um, today I'm going to tie up a kind of a glass scud variation that uh, Rob developed just recently so we thought we'd share. This is called uh, Cinderella and uh, I've got some small glass beads on this hook and the hook is a Togan's uh, number 14 curved nymph. Um, and uh, these are a small size glass bead. These clear ones here have a little bit of a pearl to them and then the center one uh, is a orange silver line bead. Um, <clears throat> so um, if you go you know to a smaller bead size then uh, you would be able to tie this on a smaller hook as well. I think the uh, original by Rob was done on a 16 curved nymph so um, vary up your sizes a little bit and and uh, just change your bead size up to do that. I've got some olive tying thread and uh, I'm going to be tying in some UV brill uh, or straggle and uh, this stuff here. So I'm going to take just a little bit here and tie it in right at the back edge of the of the hook and make sure that's nice and secure and I want to keep it towards the back here so we can leave some space a little space in front by the, so when you're done and in between each bead as well it's going to be key so once you get a little thread ball made here you can kind of hold your beads back and just jump your thread over each of them you don't wrap this thread super tight in between these beads I'd like it to have a little bit of movement to it still so I can kind of manipulate them as I wrap that uh, brill and I just build a little bit of a dam to keep them from pushing forward while I'm wrapping. So I'm going to go ahead and do two or three wraps here at the back. I'm going to try to do my best to get everything shooting downwards as best I can. So I've got a uh, good few, a couple few wraps in the back here. Now I'm just going to jump to in between the bead and you should be able to get two or three wraps in between each bead we'll jump here pull this one down in between the next bead try to have your when you do jump these beads I try to keep the straggle on the bottom that way you don't have the cord from this brill on top. And once again, just jump. A couple wraps in between. Try to push all those fibers downwards if you can, kind of as you go. And uh, then we'll skip one more time to this front bead. And then right up underneath in front of our hook eye here, we can tie this off and trim out our excess. Just like so. Kind of push those back a wee bit and just give yourself some room to tie off up front here. If you've got anything in your way, you can just kind of come in and just trim it out of the hook eye here. That looks good there. And once you get that little head built, you can grab your whip finisher, come in two or three turns with that. Move that tying thread and you can 
kind of just manipulate these beads a little bit so they're sitting fairly even, best you can, not a big deal there. And uh, try to pull out some of these trapped fibers on the bottom. That looks pretty good. We'll just push everything down and then come in and just up top, just give it a little haircut here to expose those beads and kind of act as your shell back and provide you some good segmentation up top. That looks pretty good there. So a pretty simple pattern to tie and uh, this will be very effective as well with all that UV properties in it. And throw a dab of super glue on those thread wraps or head cement whatever your preference is but that is the um, Cinderella wicked little uh, pregnant scud pattern you can tie it non-pregnant as I mentioned before just replace that orange bead with another uh, clear one but I hope you enjoyed that that's uh, finishes up video uh, number five for the series got a wicked little pattern coming out for you next week that uh, I think you'll enjoy and uh, I hope you've enjoyed all of them so um, until next week, enjoy this one, and uh, cheers and tight lines.